Happy Saturday afternoon. We are back for our 4 p.m. session. Uh, today, I'm not gonna use music, so we can put this class on YouTube again. If you need any music, as I always mention to you guys, you can always feel free to reach out to me. I can send you some playlists if you're struggling to find something inspiring, if you like the music what I play, of course. Uh, so that reason, I can actually post this video on YouTube. Nice to see you all. Great to see you. Awesome. So. Uh, we gotta get going, all right? It's four o'clock, time to go. You have your water, your mat. Please get some weights or something like weights. I have two sets of weights. Whenever I feel like it's too much for me, I'm gonna switch to my lighter weights. Uh, but you can do whatever you want. My partner is here. All right, perfect, let's go. We're gonna get going. We're gonna sit down onto the mat. Just by crossing the shins, perfect timing. Flex the feet, bring the ankles underneath the knees, place the hands onto your knees, roll the shoulders away from the ears. Just close your eyes for a second. I'm gonna start to tune in with the breath. Let go of your day, let go of your weekend so far. Let go of your thoughts, your fears, your anxiety, whatever is on your mind, just let it go for now. You simply feel the inhales as you're filling up the lungs, filling up the body with the beautiful positive energy. A beautiful life force filling up all the way to the top. And as you exhale, you just soften the body, soften the shoulders, soften the knees down to the mat, opening to the hips, feeling yourself rooting down to the sit bones. One more time. Deep, rich inhale, breath through the nose, filling up the lungs all the way to the very top, sipping more and more air all the way to the very top. Hold it there. Then open your mouth, audible, slow release. Let it out, let it all go. Again, deep inhale in through the nose. Get up the lungs all the way to the top, to the bottom, all four corners of your lungs, all the way to the very, very top. Sipping a little more air in, getting your lungs ready for the workout. And then open your mouth, audible release as you soften the muscles around the face, around the jaw, beautiful jab. Blink your eyes open, inhale, reach the arms all the way to the ceiling, to the sky. Exhale, a little side stretch to the right, left arm up and over, bend your right elbow, push the sit bones down to the earth, come back to center, bring the palms to touch, lengthen out from your lower back. Exhale, go all the way to the other side. Come back to center, twist, right finger to behind you, left hand onto your right knee, twist in your torso. Good, then come back to center, twist to the other side, right hand onto your left knee, twist and turn. Good job, come back to center, let's come onto our hands and knees. Bring your knees down underneath the hips, the hands underneath your shoulders, spreading the fingers, pulling the belly in, lengthening through all four corners of your neck, and go through a couple cats and cows, massaging out the spine, rounding through the upper spine, tucking the chin to the chest, and inhale, lifting the gaze to the ceiling, dropping the belly down one more time, Exhale, gaze back to your navel, round to the upper spine. Inhale, gaze up to the ceiling as you drop the belly down to the mat. Come back to neutral position, round to the upper spine, tuck the toes under, lift the knees just an inch away from the mat. Shifting the body weight over to the left foot, pick up your right foot, right knee away from the mat. Your left knee is not touching the mat, your right foot is not touching the mat, your right knee is not touching the mat. Then slowly start to pull the right knee to your chest, gaze back to your right knee, maybe bring the forehead and knee all the way to touch. Hold it there, round to the upper spine, pushing the earth away. Send your right foot back, release the right toes down to the earth. Lift the left foot up and away from the mat. Hold it there. Then slowly start to pull the left knee to your face, uh, to your, towards your face, yes. Tuck the chin to the chest, bring the left toes back. See if you can lift the left thigh bone a little higher. Send it back, still hovering those knees over the mat. Then send back your hips high to the sky, downward facing up. Feet are hip distance apart, walk at your feet. Bend your right knee, release the opposite here down to the mat. Do it a couple of times. Getting some movements into your hips, to your legs, stretching out your Achilles, the backs of the legs. Then find stillness here. Now come high onto your tippy toes, let the heels away from the mat. Exhale, bend the knees and hover the hips over the heels. Try not to do, drop the hips down, feeling that your, high, your thigh muscles are turning on. Good, then lift the hips high to the sky. Exhale, release it down. Once again, come on high onto your tippy toes, but this time, rotate the heels to the back right corner of the mat, push them down to the earth. Feel how you're pushing both palms down to the mat. Inhale, come back to center, and then rotate the heels all the way to the left, stretching them down to the mat. Good job, come back to center. Keep the feet hip distance apart. Walk your hands all the way back to your feet. Come on into a ragdoll Uttanasana. Shifting the body weight a little more forward into your toe mounds, tucking the chin to the chest, lengthening to the back of the neck. Swaying the body from right to left. Bring the hands down to the earth. 
grab onto your right ankle and then pull the forehead to your right shin. Maybe bring the forearms behind the right calf to pull yourself even closer to the right leg. Then walk your hands all the way to the other side. Grab your left ankle and pull the forehead down to the left shin. Good job. Then come back to center, bend your left knee. Left finger keeps down, right arm to the sky, open to the chest. Bend your top arm and reach back behind your back to roll the right shoulder up to the ceiling. Inhale your right arm high, exhale, release it down at the side. Bend your right knee, left arm high to the sky, pull the belly in. Bend your top arm and reach back behind your back. Grab onto your right inner thigh, outer hip, whatever is available, twisting your torso. Lift the left arm high to the sky, release the hands down to the mat. Toe heel your feet all the way mat distance apart, your feet stay parallel. Drop the hips all the way knee height. So your thigh bones are parallel to the mat, your fingertips down onto the mat, then reach the arms forward, turn the palms towards each other. As you reach back to the sit bones, shifting the body with back to your heels, like you're really trying to sit down into a mini, mini, mini chair. Good, hold it here, deep inhale. Exhale, drop the hips down, turn the toes out, come down into Molasana, hands at your heart center, pressing the palms together, pushing the elbows to the inner knees, tucking the tailbone under to reach out from your lungs, lengthen out from your lower back. Good, hold it here, or maybe go to a little twist, left finger kicks down, right arm reaches to the ceiling, pressing the left tricep into the left inner knee, open to the chest, twist a little bit deeper, come back to center, hands at your heart, lift up the chest, and go to the other side, right arm down, left arm high to the sky. And open up through the chest with the reach of the left arm. Good, then come back to center. Stay here for a couple more breaths or come for a tiny little arm balance. Hands down to the mat. You can come into your flying frog pose or into your crow pose, placing the knees onto the triceps, rounding through the upper spine. Lean forward so much that you may become float the toes away from the mat because they become so light. Round through the spine, focus on the back. Breath, hold it here. Good job. Then slowly release the feet back down to the mat. Toe heel your feet together, big toes to touch, heels to touch. Inhale, come into a halfway lift, flat spine. Exhale, fold all the way forward. Inhale, reach the arms all the way up to the sky. Rise up, lift up. Then bring the hands back to your heart. Inhale, lift up the arms. Find a side stretch to the right. Right arm down, left arm up and over. Push the hips to the left. Gaze up to the ceiling, gaze up to the sky. Come back to center, palms to touch, gaze up. Exhale, go all the way to the left. Push the hips to the right. Lengthen up from your lower spine. Push the heels down to the earth. Inhale, come back to center, go post the arms, open up to the chest, push the hips forward, lap stay engaged. Inhale, come back to center, exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift, then walk your hands out all the way into a high plank position, top of a push-up. Round through the upper spine, make your legs nice and strong, tuck the tailbone under, pull the belly button into the spine. Then bring your feet together, roll over to the outer arch of the right foot, lift the left arm high to the sky. Stack the left hip on top of the right, Maybe drop the bottom knee down or maybe lift the top leg up and away from the bottom leg as you reach the top arm forward and hold it here. Five, four, three, two, and one. Come on back to center. Add an optional push up here. Maybe your knees are down, maybe not. Press back into a high plank pose and then come on all the way to the other side. Left arm down, right arm to the sky. Holding it here or maybe adding on, lifting that top leg, lifting that top arm, reaching forward, hold it for four. Three, two, and one. Come back to center. Add a push up as an option or hold your high plank. Come on back into your high plank pose and go to the right. Now, breast in movement. Come back to center. Push up. All the way to the left. Good. Just like that. Keep going with your own rhythm. Warming up the core, the arms, the shoulders, the whole body. Back and forth. We have 10 more seconds. Just like that. You, the push ups are optional. If you just want to hold your high plank, that's great too. Good. Five more. And four. Three. Good job. Two. And one. Come back to center. High plank position. Come on down onto your forearms. Then back onto your palms. As you back onto your palms, touch opposite shoulders. Then come on back onto your forearms. Back onto your palms. Touch opposite shoulders. Back down onto your forearms. Good. Back to the palms. Touch opposite shoulders and keep going. Down onto the forearm, back onto the palm, touch opposite shoulder, left, right. Down onto the elbows, back onto the palms, touch right, touch left. Down onto the elbows, just like that. Keep going. Shh, 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 shh. A combination of two different workouts. Let go, keep going. Belly strong and lift. Back down, five more. When you come up, always touch opposite ankle uh, elbows. No, that's actually shoulder. Touch opposite shoulder. There you go. Keep going. Five. Four. Three. Good job. Two.
two. And one, come on down onto your forearms. Interlock the hands. Push the hips, heels forward and back. Heels forward and back. Keep the body one long line from the crown all the way to the heels. And go for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Focus on the breath. Come on, stay with it. 4, keep going. 2, and 1. Nice job. Come on down onto your knees. All right. We're going to go all the way into a downward facing dog. We're going to warm up with a little bit of a falling star pose. All right. So what we're going to do, we're going to lift the right leg up. And as you exhale, bring the right knee to the right tricep. Hug it in all the way. Warming up that core. Warming up the right side oblique. Then bring it to the right, knee, right elbow. Back to the left elbow. And to the right. And to the left. For five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale your right leg all the way high to the sky. Lift up the right leg. Engage your right glute muscle. And keep your right leg as straight as you can. Then as you exhale, bring the right knee back to the right tricep. Slide it down. Sorry, to the left tricep. Crossing. Right knee to left tricep. Slide it down to the left hand, uh, wrist. And pull it back to the elbow. Down to the wrist. Up to the elbow. Down to the wrist. Up to the elbow. And go for four, three, two, and one. Right leg all the way to the sky. Bend the knee, stack the hips. Circle the knee around a couple of times. All right, now we're gonna bring the right knee back to the left tricep, same leg, same tricep. Then extend it out to the side and lift the left arm high to the sky. Hold it here, or maybe start to pick up the left foot up and away from the mat and hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Left palm down, right leg high to the sky. Exhale, release the right foot down to the mat, back into downward facing dog. Then inhale, your left leg halfway up. Good, as you exhale, Bring the left knee to the right tricep, then out to the left, and back to the right. Out to the left, back to the right. For five, four, three, two, and one. Left leg all the way to the ceiling, stretch it out. Lift it as high as you can, turn on that left glute muscle. And as you exhale, cross, bring it to the right tricep. Then lower it down to the right wrist, back to the elbow. Down to the wrist, up to the elbow. Five, Four, three, two, and one. Left leg all the way high to the sky. Bend the knee, stack the hips. Circle out through the knee. Good, feel that opening in your hip. Good job. And then as you exhale, bring the left knee all the way to the right tricep. Extend the left leg out to the side and inhale your right arm high to the sky. Hold it here, or maybe pick up the bottom foot, the left foot away from the mat. For four, three, two, and one. Pull it all the way through, and come on back into your downward facing dog. All right, from your down dog, walk your feet, hands back to your feet, then come up, rise up, lift the arm up. Now here you can either jump, let me get here, and go back down, go into a high plank pose. Back all the way, and then you can jump, or just reach the arms up, and go forward. Now when you come forward in a high plank, you can add a push up as well. And go, back, jump, or raising the arms, and then forward, and maybe adding a push-up. That's it. 30 seconds, starts right now. Forward, optional push-up, back, optional jump, or just reaching the arms to the ceiling. That's your call. Let's go. Keep going. 20 seconds to go. Forward, and back. The jump is optional, the push-up is optional. Everything is optional. Good. And go. Ten more. Keep the belly strong, especially when you come to the high plank or push up. Five more. Good. Two more. Last one. Good job. Come on down into forearm plank. Elbows down to the mat. Forearm plank. Feet are together. Drop the hips to the right, then drop them to the left. Right and left. And right and left. 15 seconds, starting right now. Twist in your torso, push down to both forearms. Good. Come on, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Stay on your forearm, roll to the outer arch of the right foot, lift up the left arm, hold it here. Now lift the hips higher, push into the right forearm. Keep the neck long, 
Maybe gaze up. Again, come on down onto your left forearm. Good. Another round of rainbows. Hips to right, hips to left. Keep going. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Back to center. Left forearm stays down. Right arm to the sky. Hold it here. Stagging the right foot on the top of the left. Maybe gaze up to the ceiling. Come on back to center. All right. Hold your forearm plank. Tap the right knee down. Then the left knee down. Right knee down. Left knee down. Right. Left. Right. Left. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Nice job. Coming down onto your knees. Grab a sip of water, maybe a little towel. All right, I'm gonna grab my sip of water. Be sharing one. Mm. Perfect. Now I'm gonna come back into downward facing dog. You're gonna place a weight to the left side of your mat, top of the mat to the left side. I'm gonna show you first what we're gonna do, then we're gonna do it all together. So place the hands down to the mat, lift the right leg up, then bring your right knee to the left tricep, extend the right leg, grab the weight, and lift it up. Place it back down, hands flat onto the mat, right leg high, come on back, place it out, lift it up, simple. Just with the right leg. Let's go, right leg high, to the left tricep, extend it out, lift the left arm up. Now lift up from the right shoulder. Try not to sink into that right shoulder. Good, and go. We just started, keep going. 10 more to go. And lift, down and lift. Cross, out and lift. Down, palm flat, right leg high. Come on, cross, good. Five, good, four, let us speed up, come on, let's go with the breath. This is the third one. We have two full. Inhale, exhale, cross. Two, one more to go. Inhale, exhale, cross. One more to go, good job. Inhale, right leg high to the sky. As you exhale, step the right leg all the way forward. Now grab both of your weights, rise up. Right leg forward, left leg back. As you bend your right knee, Oh, the left knee, sorry. As you bend your left knee, bend your elbows. Good. Go up and down. There are days when left and right does not want to find its place. All right? Just follow me. Let's go. Down and up. Down and up. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Focus on the breath. As soon as you lose your breath, you lose your rhythm, you lose yourself. Let's go. Last one. Hands at your heart, lean forward. Right leg is still forward, pull the right hip back. Elbows up high, and kick, and kick, and kick. That's it. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Turn the palms to the ceiling and lift them up. Keep pulling the right hip back to the center line. Your left leg is strong. 10 more. Nine, lean more forward. Your chest is the extension of your left leg. Your left leg is solid and strong. For six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold it up, a little tiny pulses. Let's go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one hands at your heart center. Come on up, open to the side. Warrior two. So your right toes are pointing forward, right knee is pointing forward, back toes turn inward. Bend your front knee. Then come up onto your right tippy toes. Lift up your right heel. Bring the arms out to the side. And as you release the heels, then lift up the heel, bend the elbows. Release the heels, arms extended, then bend the elbows. Your right knee stays bent the whole time. You're still in warrior two. And go for 10. Nine, eight, nice job. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Keep the heel lifted. Keep everything like that. Just move the arms 10 more times. 10, nine, sit down deeper. Bend your right knee a little bit more. That's it. 
Lift up the right heel. Six more. Five, four, three, good, two. And one, hands at your heart center straight and out through the right leg. Now turn the toes out. Toes out, heels in. Good, now bring the hands at your heart center, the weights at your heart center. Go to the right and go to the left. Bending the right knee, bending the left knee. Your toes are pointing out this time, that's it. Shift the body, good. Back to center, that's it. Keep going. Push the knee towards the second toenail. So you're really working on that outer hip muscle as well. That's it, let's go. 10 and nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. You're gonna go all the way to the right side in two. Stay on the right and go down. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Come on a little deeper. Two and one. Stay on the right side. Lift up the right heel and tiny pauses. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, straight and out the right leg, go to the left side, just on the left side. Out to the left, your heel is down for the first round. Let's go, 15 times, then we're gonna lift up the heels, and another 15 like that, good. 10 more, heels are down. Point that left knee towards the second toe, your right leg is straight the whole time. Good, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, now lift up the left heel, keep the left knee bent and tiny little poses down to the left side. Right leg is straight, let's go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, deeper, deeper. Last one, straight and out the legs, good job. All right, keep the weights, I'm sorry, keep the weights. Toes out, heels in. Now, we're gonna do another set of bicep. Straight on the legs, arms in front of you, bend the elbows, bend the knees, down, and up, let's go. When you bend the knees, bend the elbows, that's it. Down, push the knees out to the side, down. There you go, down. Tuck the tailbone under, belly strong. Good, keep going. I'm just gonna show it from your side, from my side, all right? Instead of bringing the booty back behind you, you're tucking the tailbone under and go just like that. Good, that's it. 10 and nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now bend the knees, sit down as deep as you can. Come on, 50 more just with the arms. Tucking the tailbone under, keeping the spine nice and long. Keep going, 12 and 11. Come on, try to move the weights nice and slow up and down. Eight and seven. Good, a little deeper. Good job. Five. Torso is long. Crown is over the tailbone. Come on, two and one. Stay here. Right arm forward, left arm forward. Right arm forward, left arm forward. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Belly still strong. Six, five, four. Three, two, and one. Hands at your heart. Lift up the right heel. Lift up the right heel. Pause it down. Right heel is lifted. Coming back to center so you can see me. Let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Release the right heel. Lift up the left heel. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one, you know what's coming, lift up both heels. Come on, balance, shake. Let that nice muscle build up here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Release the weights down to the mat. All right, let's do a little core, and then we're gonna get back to the left side. You just have to remember what we did on the left side. All right, I still have it. All right, come down onto your mat, lay down. I'm gonna use this. All right, lay down onto your mat. Without weight, feet are hip distance apart, arms are wider than shoulder distance apart, like mat distance apart. Then sit up, touch the left ankle with the right fingers, back with straight arms, sit up. Everything stays straight. Arms stay straight, legs stay straight. And go. Up, back, up, 
back, exhale, down, exhale, inhale, twist, back, twist, and back, that's it, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. I'm gonna come into a bicycle, starting from a low boat, sit up, twist, down, sit up, down, sit up, down, sit up, that's it, and sit, and up, and up, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and last one, good job, come on down, place your hands underneath your hips, good, lift up the legs, then slowly start to lower the legs, but push the lower, that lower back down to the mat, your lower back wants to lift up, push it back down, release the legs down, all the way, slowly, start to crisscross those legs, criss, cross, criss, cross, you can keep the shoulder blades down onto the mat, or lift the shoulder blades away from the mat, for a little more crunching, good, 10, legs are straight, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Hold the knees in. We have a second set of the bicycles, and we're going to come back to a similar exercise. Starting in low boat, twist, down, twist, down, up, down, up, down. 10, more, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Legs are up. Hands underneath the hips, point the toes, release the legs down close to the mat, really close to the mat, then keep the shoulder blades down or lift up the chest, kick the legs straight up. <sighs> legs are still super straight. Squeeze the shoulder blades if you lift it up the chest. Let's go, legs are so straight. Your thigh muscles are burning. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Underneath the chest just for a second. Neutralize the lower spine. Lift one weight up, lift up the legs, Release the left leg, halfway up. Then start to reach to the outside of the right ankle. Let's go. Up, up. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Switch out the legs. Left leg high, right leg 45. Then go. Up, up. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Once we chat the legs, reach to the left ankle. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. We chat the legs to the right ankle. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Once we chat the legs, circle the weight around the leg from the outside. Go from the outside. Eight, seven, six, five. This is brutal. Let's go. Four, three, two, and one. Switch out the legs from the outside. Circle around it. Try not to release the right heel down to the mat. Keep the right leg strong. Eight, seven, six. A little higher. Crunch it up. Ooh, five, four, three, two, and one. Release both legs down to the mat. Flex your feet. Point your toes all the way to the ceiling. Engage your glutes, engage the legs, grab the weight, bring it over the shoulder line, and lift up. Lift up. Use these top abdominals. If that's too much for your arms, keep the weights onto your chest. You can even cross them like that. But try to sit up straight. Otherwise, arms straight up to the ceiling, weights over the shoulder, and reach up. Straight up. Straight up. That's it. Let's go. Ten. Oh, a little higher. Flex those feet. Your legs are strong. Glutes are on. Up, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Grab one weight into your hands, like this, all right? Bend the knees, reach over the shin, and inhale, reach the weights up over the head and straighten the legs. Crunch up and reach, crunch and reach. 10, nine, eight, Push the lower back down. Try not to lift it away from the mat. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice 
jab. All right, bring the feet down to the mat. Simple crunches. Come on, bring the fingertips behind the ears. We have about like two more hours doing core. No, I'm kidding, but like one. Okay, let's do one more full minute. Let's stay strong. Bring the elbows out to the side. Neck is long. Feel the core, let's go up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Legs into the table top, 10 more. Up, 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 let's go. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Legs up to the ceiling, open the legs. At least mat distance apart, reach to opposite ankle. Twist and reach, up and up, up, and up. Try to lift those shoulder blades a little higher away from the mat. You got it. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hug the knees back to your chest. All right, nice job. Rock and roll back and forth onto your mat. We're gonna come into a standing position. And I promise we're gonna do that left side. I did not forget about your beautiful left side. We're gonna take care of that left side, all right? So what we're gonna do, without any weights, hands at your heart center, down, and just up to your heels. Down, up to your heels. And up, and up. Do a little squat. Come up onto your tippy toes. Down, and up. Down, and up. We're working today a little bit of that calf muscle as well. Up, and down. Up, and down. Up, and down. That's it. Up, and down. Up, and down. Good. You have 30 seconds. Really lift the heels high. Good. Try to find your balance. Try to keep your gaze at one spot. And down. And down. Good job. Up and down. 10, 9, 8, 7. This is the warm up part. 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Now grab the weights. We're going to do a little hop. Just 10 hops. Go down and up. Charge from your tip, from, charge from your toes. So you jump nice and high. Down, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Stay down, hands at your heart. Come on, pulse it down. Down, down, down. Spine is long. You have 15 seconds. Go a little deeper. Come on, body weight on the heels. 10 more seconds, a little deeper. Got this. Five, five, four, let's go. Good, two, and one, nice job. All right, weights down to the mat. So we're gonna start with that move we did on the other side already, which is basically left leg high, step it to the side, grab the weight, lift it up, back down, palm stack, flat, Left leg high, bring it to the right, crisp, and reach up. Just like that. I grab a sip of water. It's hot today. All right. When you're ready, downward facing dog. Way to your right side, starting on the left side. Left leg high, left knee to right tricep, extend, grab the weight, lift it up, and down. And back, cross, step, right arm, down, step it back. You got this, let's go. 30 seconds, already going. Good work. Down, lift it up. Keep going, 20 seconds. Speed it up just a little. Follow the pattern of the breath, good. Ten more seconds, you got this, let's go. Lift up from the left shoulder. Good, four, three, two, and one. Step the left leg all the way forward, grab both weights. All right, you're gonna rise up all the way, arms by your side, bend your right knee, come down. Up and down, that's it. Simple up, simple down. Tucking the tailbone under. Good work. Go down. Start to catch the breath. That's it. Go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 
six, five, four, a little deeper, three, two, and one. Hands at your heart, reach forward, bring the elbows to your side, hug the left hip back, and kick. Slow kick, slow kick. Neck is long. Try to not gaze all the way up or all the way down. Keep it at the top of your mat. I mean the gaze. That's it. Come on, 10, nine, eight, seven, six. Focus is on the breath, back leg is long. Come on, keep going. Two, and one, turn the palm to the ceiling. 10, slow, up and down. Up and down, up and down. Six, five, four, three, two. Hold it up, tiny pauses. Come on, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hands at your heart. Open to the side. Warrior two. Stay where you are. I'm gonna turn around so you can see me, and I can see you. All right. So you're gonna come into that warrior two position. Bring the arms out to the side. Good. Now, lift up the heel. Bend the elbow, drop the heel. Bend the elbow, drop the heel. Good, and go. Up and down, up and down. Back foot is turned in. Your back leg is strong. You're lifting the left heel up. Good. Go a little deeper. Eight more. Seven. Left leg forward. Six. Five, four, three, two, one. Now lift up the left heel. Come on, meet the arms. Bend your left knee a little bit more. Eight, seven. Lift the elbows all the way, shoulder height. Five, four, three, two, and one. Hands at your heart. Rise up. Turn the toes out. Good. Bring the weights up into goal post. Bend the elbows, bend the knees. Up and down. Up and down. Up and down. That's it. Up and down. Keep the elbow shoulder height. Come on. Go down. Up and down. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Woo. Four, three, two, and one. Hands at your heart. Bend those knees. Box. Out to the side. Out, out, out. Moving from your belly. And lift. All the way, shoulder height. Lift. Up, up, up. Come on. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hands at your heart, lift up the right heel, going down, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, switch it out, left heel up, 10 times, a little deeper, tucking the tailbone under, Woo. feel this, let's go, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, lift up both heels, and balance, 8, 7, 6, 5, four, three, two, just drop the heels down, push the knees back, 10 more, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, straight on those legs, all right, put the weights down, we're gonna do a little skater, we have about like 10 more minutes to go, so let's go, let's go, all right, skaters, Right leg behind the left. Reach the right hand down, back to center, left leg down. And go. One side to the other, warming up. Starting 10 seconds slow, then we're gonna speed it up. It will be way more fun with music. Hope you have some good music. Let's go. Down and down. Four more seconds, we're gonna speed it up. In three, in two, and one. Let's go. As fast as you can. Switch, switch, switch. Go. Good job. 20 seconds. 15. Bend the knees. Go. 10, 9, 8, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good work. Come back to center. Grab two weights into your right hand. Turn the toes out, not in a huge stand, just like a little wider than hip distance apart. Point the toes out, hand left hand on your left hip. Reach down, as a little squat, bending the knees, then push it up. And down, and up, and down, and up. Let's go, 10 times. Nine, eight, feel the glutes dropping down, all the way knee height. Come on, six, five, four, good, three, two, last one, and up, bend the knees, keep the weights into your right hand, bicep, let's go, ten, nine, eight, seven, spine is long, belly strong, good, five, four, three, two, and a one, good job, straight in the legs, grab the weights into your left hand, you know what's coming, and up, right hand on your hip, and up, let's go, just ten, up, and down, feel how you're lifting, using the left oblique to push into that weight, I go back so you can see me, because I disappear halfway, down, and all the way up, down, and push it up, down, and push it up, that's it, come on, five, four, three, good, two, one more, down, push it up, bend the knees, bicep, Whew. go, sit down deep, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, good job, weights down onto the mat, another little jump, and jump, and jump, and jump, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, come on down, hands and knees, Woo, almost done, we have about eight minutes, eight full minutes, all right, hands down, you're coming onto your hands and knees, starting on the right side today, all right, like everyone would, <laughs> weight behind the right knee, hands down onto the mat, spread the fingers, belly is strong, so instead of sinking into the shoulders, you remember, round through the spine, squeeze the weight, so you're not going to drop it, lift up, down, up, and down, core is strong, go, up, down, and that's it, neck is long, get back to the breath, strong steady breath, in and out through your nose, eight more slow, seven, six, five, four, three, two, pulsing at the top, up, 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 ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, bring the knees together, open to the side, down and up, down and up, down and up, five more minutes to go, let's stay with it, lift it up, for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, neck is long, don't drop the head down, round through the upper spine, two more, one, hold it up, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, release, release the weight, come down onto your left forearm, right fingers, right leg is straight, circle it forward, circle it back, circle it forward, and circle it back, ten times, and nine, all the way up, draw a big circle, so lift the leg as high as you can, big circle, that's it, good, six, five, four, good, come on, three, two, one, bring the leg to center, and lift it up, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, 
five, four, three, two, and one. Coming to child's pose. Feels so good. Feels too good. You kind of want to stay here, but we cannot. We have another side to go. All right. Come back up, hands and knees. You're going to go to the left side. Bring the weight behind the left knee. Hands down. Shoulder distance apart. Up and down. Simple up and down. Flexing the left foot. Keeping the torso long. Your lower belly engaged. Lifting that weight. Using just the left glute muscle. Try to lift the left knee all the way hip height. So higher than mine. <laughs> Let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Poor left glute is gonna hurt at the end. Let's go. Come on, 4, 3, 2. Now hold it up. Pulse it up. Up. Belly still strong. Round through the upper spine. Neck is long. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bring the knees together. Open it out to the side. Simple fire hydrants. Up and down. All the way up. All the way down. I'm going to come down to my forearms. You can stay onto your palms. Let's go. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Hold it up. Pulse. 10, 9, 8. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Release, almost done, almost done. Release the weight. Come down onto your right forearm, left spider fingers. Your left leg is strong. You point the left toes. Now draw a big circle forward, big circle back. So you're lifting that left toe higher than your hip at the center. That's it, come on. Eight, seven, six, Lower. Five. Good job. Four. Good. Three. Almost there. Two. Good job. Last one. Good. Bring the leg to center and lift it up. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Now stretch back into child's pose to the left heel. Oh, good job. Maybe stretch back to the right again. And then to the left again. Stretch out both sides. Nice job. All right. Coming down onto our backs. Finishing up. Two more minutes. That's all. Grab those weights. We're going to bring it out to the side. So your palms scooching down so you can see me. All right. So when you come down, you're going to bring the arms out to the side. But you're not going to release the arms all the way down. This is going to be the end, so you don't want to do that, all right? Bring the heels close to the sit bones. We're going to lift the hips up. So your arms come down. This is the lowest position your arms going to go down. Lift up the hips, bring the palms together. Draw the hips, draw the arms. Up, down, up, down. That's it. Up and down. Neck is long. Push into the heels. Your feet are perfectly parallel. Good. Tuck the tailbone under at the top. Really push those hips high. Eight, good. Seven, slow. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring the arms out in like half weight. I'll just bring them a little bit lower so they're really uncomfortable. Keep the hips high and just move with the arms. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Place the weights onto your hips. Up and down. Up and down. Up and down. Ten more. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Bring the weights up and overhead. Good. Now lift the hips high. Lift the arms high. Bend the elbows. Bend the hips. Up. Down. Up. Down. Let's go. Up. Down. Keep going. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Keep the hips high. Just with the arms. Let's go. Ten. Nine. Hips are high. Good. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. 
two, and one. Bring the weights out to the side. Keep the hips high. Lift up the right leg. Ten times. Nine, eight, seven, six, five. Feel that left glute is burning so much. Five, four, three, two. Lift the hips as high as you can. Lower the leg. Lift it back up. Lower the leg. Lift it back up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Release the right here. Try not to do it. Drop the hips down. Lift up the left leg. Up and down. Up, down. Up, down. That's it. Up, down. Draw the hips down. Almost your hips or your lower back is almost touching the mat. That's how low you bring it. That's it. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lift the hips as high as you can. Lower the straight left leg and bring it back. Lower it down and bring it back. Slow, back, slow, back. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Drop it all the way down. Hug the knees into your chest. Giving yourself a nice squeeze, a nice hug. Oh, stay on your back. You are done. Left heel down onto the mat. Cross the right knee on top of the, or right ankle on top of the left knee. Then hug the left leg into your chest. Figure four. Feel the stretch in your right outer hip. Flex the right foot towards the right knee. Hug the chin to the chest. Deep, slow inhale. Maybe start to interlock the hands on top of the left knee. Pulling the left thigh a little closer to your chest. Oh. Good job. Switch it to the other side. Cross the left ankle on top of the right knee. Interlock the hands. Push the left knee away from the body. Flex the left foot. And maybe eventually bring the hands. Interlock the hands on top of the right knee. Good work. Hug the knees back onto your chest. Good. Sole of the left foot comes down to the mat. Right leg is long. Gently pull the right knee, right shin to the face. And then extend the left leg all the way forward. Soften the right knee. But with each exhale, allow the right shin to come closer to the face. Good. Grab onto your right leg from the inside, from the outside, whatever you feel more comfortable. Place the left hand onto your left hip. Imagine your left hand is like a sandbag, it's super, super heavy. So your left hip is not lifting away from the mat as you pull in the right heel out to the side. Good, switch out to the other side. Sole of the right foot down onto the mat, left leg is up. Gently pull in the left knee toward, to the face as you keep that soft bend into the left leg. And then slowly reach the right leg forward, pressing the back of the right knee down to the mat. And with each exhale, you allow the left shin on to come closer to your chest. Good, then grab onto your left calf or shin from the inside or from the outside, placing the right hand onto your right hip, and then pulling the left leg out to the side, feeling that stretch more like in your inner thigh, inner groin area. And come back to center, hugging both knees into your chest. Happy baby, either grab behind the knees and pull the knees into the shoulder socket, or reach from the inside of the knees to grab it on the feet, the outer arches of the feet, or grab it onto the big toes. And if it feels good and your lower back is comfortably down onto the mat, you can stretch out the right leg or the left leg or both legs in the same time. Happy baby variations. Hug the knees to your chest. Give yourself one more squeeze, one more hug. Then slowly bring your legs up and over the head, coming into a nice plow pose. If your toes are down to the mat, you can interlock the hands behind your back, keeping the knees straight or bending the knees if it feels better. Coming into an ear-pinning posture by pulling the knees to your templates, to your ears. Release. Support your lower back as you come down onto the mat. Rock and roll back and forth onto your mat. Coming into a seated position. Sit down onto the mat. Reach the arms all the way to the ceiling. Bend your right elbow. Pull the right elbow down, the palm in between the shoulder blades. And then switch out to the other side. Left arm, bend your left elbow. Place the right palm onto your left elbow. Back to center, right arm reaches forward. Pull it as you gaze to the right. 
Come back to center, left arm in front of you. Pull it to the right as you gaze to the left. One more little stride, stretch, right arm down. Push the left seat bone down to the mat as you lift the left arm up and over. Come back to center to the other side. Left arm down, right arm up and over. Mm, I'm running arms all the way to the ceiling. Touch the fingers, reach the energy all the way up to the sky. And then slowly bring the hands back to your heart center. Close your eyes for a second. Gently bow in, in, in front of your heart. Tucking the chin to the chest. Softening the shoulders. Softening your breath the muscles around the face, your hips, your belly. Take a slow inhale through the nose. Hold it at the top, sip in a little more air in, and then open your mouth and ah, slowly sigh it out, let it all go. Gently lift the thumbs in between the eyebrows. Gently and slowly lift the gaze to the ceiling, open your eyes, and then together we bow forward, sitting into our practice. Namaste. Thank you so much for coming and practicing with us today. We had beautiful Sonia here today just on the other side of the camera. Luckily, she showed up last minute. Uh, so thank you for coming and enjoying, enjoying us today in this afternoon. Enjoy your, the rest of your weekend. Awesome to see you all. Nice to see you. Awesome. Hi, Yvette. Good to see you, everyone. All right. So this class is going to be on YouTube at Aura 7 Yoga. You guys know it by now probably, but if you, this is your first time practicing with us, you can go to YouTube and go to Aura 7 Yoga. We can find, you can find all these videos there as well as other fun videos out there. So awesome to see you all. Take good care of yourself. Have a fun night and see you back hopefully tomorrow.